If you guys ever seen the show Stranger Things where the main character named Eleven, this young lady had telekinesis, telepathy, she has telepathy power, and she actually can pop in and out of realms between the dark underworld that is beneath our realm, which is hell, which is pure evil, and then our world, which is a material world, but her mind is from the dark underworld. And this girl, Eleven, she, I guess she rules over that world or something, but she can have like interdimensional communication with that realm. And this this girl, she got MK Ultra. She was in a Russian experiment that fled to the United States. And now she's in the United States in a small town called Hawkins. And in that small town, she kind of runs around freely. But that show got funded millions of dollars, if not billions. And well, maybe not billions, but I mean, Netflix is a billion dollar corporation. But yeah, this show got millions of dollars. And this goes to show you there's probably some truth behind it. You know, there's this one guy who said he got reincarnated. He went to Mars and he was a, uh, a Russian kid that went to Mars. And at 11 years old, he was talking about how he was from an old ancient civilization and he went to Mars through a portal and now he's on earth and he died from the old world, like the Old Testament type stuff, you know, like the Tower of Babel, you know, Noah's Ark. And then he died and then he got reincarnated. But the spirit remembers, it's not the body that reincarnates, it's the spirit. The, the body can just be replaced. Your body is just a vessel for the spirit to flow through. And that's why when you take enough psychedelics, you can actually have tele telepathic and telekinesis powers. But the problem with that is if you take enough psychedelics, you fry your brain, but the spirit realm is int intrinsically connected to your spirit. So the spirit realm is where you have telekinesis. You don't have telekinesis in this realm. So you, you can take enough, enough psychedelics and fry your brains and have telepathic, telepathic powers with other spirits and other realms, but you'll lose your mind along with it. So that's why you gotta be very careful with taking psychedelics and psychedelic mushrooms and DMT and stuff, because you actually lose your mind in the process. So in this realm, like in the TV show, you see the kids pop in and out of uh, realms. He'll go to the dark underworld and he'll come back to the real life. But in real life, he's running around like lost and all of his friends are like, what's wrong with this guy? But that kid that is running around in his mind, in his spirit, he's think he's in the dark underworld. He's in hell. So that's what we would see. We would see someone just like losing their mind and having like a, we'll see someone have a episodic psychic episode where they're losing their mind or someone who's like autistic or severe mentally disordered right? Severe me mental personality disorder. And when they have severe mental, me mental personality disorder, that's them popping in and out of realms. And, but it, you'll see someone have psychological, like severe psychological issues where they're like spazzing out and having seizures and all that. Like that is them in the spirit, in the uh, dark underworld. Like they're at war in the dark underworld. You know, they can actually see demons, you know? Uh, that's why people with, da with Down syndrome are actually closer to God because they're not in love with the material world. A motherfucker like me, I love, you know, unfortunately I love sex. I love, love the sensations of the flesh, the sensation of, of the eyes, the, the, the temptation of the ears, of the mouth. I love, I fall in love with worldly things and I am tempted to indulge in fet fleshly temptations. So someone like me, that I fall in love with the, with, with the material world, someone who's mentally disabled, mentally retarded, or has Down syndrome, they don't think as much as I do. They don't think as much, maybe not think, but they don't think as much about sex as I do. I'm constantly thinking about sex. I'm a damn pervert, I'm a damn scumbag, I'm a piece of shit, right? But meanwhile, these guys are actually closer to God. They're actually closer, but the problem is, you know, you know, you gotta be careful with that because the spirit can tie itself through anything. So, you know, you might be thinking about something, something good, but it can have some demonic layer to that good thing so you got to be careful right so so you see a lot of these guys that have episodic sociopathic episodes through the body but in those in the spirit realm they're popping in and out of realms um and that's why they're having seizures and shit because their body their mind is like leaving them their consciousness is literally leaving them so their body is like convulsing because it's like can't it can't grasp but the spirit the spirit is gone and it's the, the body's trying to grab it so it like if there's an automatic there's an automatic bi biological shutdown into your nervous system so, you know, you gotta be careful with experimenting with psychedelics. Psychedelics can be good and be, can, it can be bad because yeah, you, you know, the first two, three times it honey dicks you, you know, like the devil, the, the devil comes with nine truths and one lie. So the first thing that you, when you take psychedelics, if you have, it enhances what you're already going through, right? So if you're, if you're happy and you take psychedelics, you're gonna be even happier. If, you, if you're sad and you take psych psychedelics, that's when a bad trip happens. So you gotta be very careful with that, right? Because it, it's an, an, um, an amplifier. So you gotta be careful. So if you're, if you're gonna take it, but you know you're in a good place in life, then do it responsibly. But even if you're happy, you can only take it three or four or five times before your mind literally leaves, you're, you, literally when you fry your brains. So it's like with great power comes great responsibility, right? So it's like the law, the, the biblical law allows you to have 
just a couple temptations until you start losing your mind, until it doesn't become a temptation of the flesh by accident, but temptation of the body and of the mind on purpose. You know, that's why you gotta be careful with that, about the philosophy of, well, all I gotta do is just ask for forgiveness and I'm cleansed. After you're baptized, it doesn't really work like that, right? So that's what it is with psychedelics. You know, you can take it a couple times and you're gonna feel good. It's like, okay, sweet. But if you have addictive personality disorder, then you actually want to take it more and more because you feel like, well, it worked the first time and the second time and the third time felt great, then I'm gonna continue taking it. That's when you end up frying your brains and you actually become uh, a Project 11 from Stranger Things. This girl who's popping in and out of realms, popping in and out of the dark underworld and heaven and the, and the, and the earthly realm, popping in and out, having telekinesis and having an episodic episode that is malfunctioning your subconscious. And next thing you know, you're having convulsions and seizures. So you just gotta be careful. Um, so yeah, psychedelics is like a tool, you know? So you gotta be careful when you use psychedelics. I've never used it, but I know through the black magic of studies of the dark arts, cocaine and such things like that. I've, studied, I've, I've done cocaine, methamphetamines, I've done Deca D ball, I did dynamite, right? I can honestly say those drugs have a different type of demon that is attached through those drugs that would enter in your, in your subconscious and have, have it where you have multiple personality disorder. You know, the way I'm acting when I'm on methamphetamines versus the way I act on marijuana are two different people. So, you know, when you have mental personality disorder naturally, and then you take those different type of drugs, it's a disaster. Like there's one girl I know, she's drinking, she's doing pills, I don't know what, what, what pills it is, opioids or some shit, and she's doing meth. Dude, I'm telling you, next, next thing you know, she's the greatest person alive. You're, oh wow, she's very happy, she's very nice. And next thing you know, bitch, get the fuck out of my face before I kill you. And it's like, what, I didn't even do anything. You know, like her, that's how, that's how fast she switches. And she like threatens you and shit, like pulls out a knife. That's how that lady was when I knew, when, that lady that I grew up with, doing, doing heroin and doing methamphetamines. It's two different personalities. So you gotta be careful. Scary, it's a scary world we live in and, and it's a lot more magical than you realize. It's crazy.